ladies and gentlemen, someone once said that the accomplice to the crime of corruption is frequently our own indifference. No doubt everyone in this room agrees with that statement. We understand that societies develop a culture based on their way of life. And regrettably, that culture could also work as a barrier to progress. People become indifferent to corruption, which insidiously can become part of a culture of how things are done. We have seen it in various aspects of Jamaican society, where corruption has undermined development programs and projects for the well-being of our people. While it is not my intention to list these aspects here, I emphasize the urgent need for us to change the mentality which makes it so difficult to overcome this scourge of corruption. This is why I so readily accepted Mr. Harrison's invitation to be here this afternoon and lend my support to this thrust. I commend you, sir, Mr. Harrison, and the staff of the Office of the Contractor General most heartily for the initiative which led to this three-day conference. It is pleasing and significantly encouraging to observe that this morning's session was dedicated to our children and youth. It is at that level that we must pursue focused attention and action to ensure that they are sensitized against the destructive culture of corruption. I believe that youth who are positively motivated will be committed agents for change within their own families and their communities. The pervasive nature of cross-border corruption is a phenomenon which demands international collaboration for its effective reduction. This is critical within and among nations linked by migration and diaspora populations, as well as significant commercial exchanges. I want to acknowledge and thank our international partners for their interest in and participation in this conference. Your support for our development is well noted and appreciated. In 1998, Transparency International included Jamaica for the first time in its global list of countries assessed on its Corruption Perception Index. This score then was 38%. Jamaica has hovered at that level since then, reaching its best rating of 40% in 2002 and falling to its worst of 33% in 2011. In 2014, we again scored 38%, as we have done for at least five previous years. Despite the stated commitment of leaders in both public and private sectors, the laws enacted and the National Integrity Action's excellent work, the public awareness campaigns, and all the other things we're doing, we're still lagging in the fight against corruption. <coughs> 